What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to give you my top seven poker lessons that I've learned as a 10 plus year poker pro. Now, I've learned a lot of hard lessons in my poker career, having played over 10 million hands of poker, so I'm hoping that a few of the tips on this list will help you guys save you some time, money, and frustration, so let's jump right into it. All right, so tip number one is going to be to develop your own play style. Now, it's absolutely fine to watch your favorite high-stakes poker pro on TV, here on YouTube, to study poker books, poker training videos, all of that kind of stuff is fine. But at the end of the day, if you want to have large scale success in this game, you're not going to get there by copying somebody else's strategy or emulating somebody else's play style. You need to bring your own unique personality into this game, your own style of play. You need to try new things, even if some people might say they're bad. You know, you'll meet a lot of experts at the poker table and, and that's okay and everyone's welcome to their opinion. But as the great Phil Ivey said, you get your chips your way, I'll get my chips my way. And I think Phil Ivey's strategy has worked out pretty well for him at this point and I would highly suggest the same for you. Develop your own style of play. Do not try to copy somebody else. Do not play some sort of cookie cutter strategy just because a bunch of people think that that's the, you know, the best way to play or the standard way to play the game or something. You develop you at the poker table, your own specific play style. That's what's going to get you the most success in this game. All right, so tip number two is don't be a hero. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about playing in games consistently against other good players. What you guys need to understand about poker is that it is a game played between people and your results are always going to be in direct correlation to who you choose to play against. If you choose to consistently play in games with other really good players, even if you're better than them, even if you have an edge over them, you're never going to profit a lot in these games for the simple reason that they don't make a lot of large fundamental mistakes. Good players don't make big mistakes. Recreational players, hobbyists make big, large fundamental mistakes, playing terrible hands, for example, chasing every single draw, and that is where the big profit comes from in this game. I know it's become kind of fashionable these days to kind of frown upon people who, you know, like to game select, and some poker sites have even gone as far as trying to ban it. But at the end of the day, guys, the biggest difference between your success or failure in this game is always gonna be who you choose to play against. You choose to be a hero and play against other really, really strong players, it doesn't matter how good you are. You're trying to draw blood from a stone. You're never going to profit large in these games. If you want to have large scale success in poker, you have to play consistently against other bad players. All right, so tip number three is always be improving. So one of the biggest lessons that I learned early on in my poker career is you need to check your ego at the door in this game. Don't ever think that you know everything because chances are you don't. And even if you do have the pinnacle of poker knowledge right now, the game of poker is always changing. And that is why you need to evolve with it. You know, many of the strategies that worked for me 10 years ago in my poker career, you know, don't work as well today. And I've had to learn new strategies to beat today's games. And you know, the strategies that are working in today's games perhaps won't be as effective 10 years from now. So you need to always be evolving, studying some of the latest material out there, advanced strategies, don't copy it of course, but always taking in new ideas and trying new stuff yourself. I'll have some links to some stuff in the description below if you're curious about learning more. All right, so tip number four is never get too high and never get too low. Guys, you're gonna have a ton of ups and downs in this game. It doesn't matter how good you are. Even if your name is Daniel Negreanu or Phil Ivey, they have losing days at the poker table too. They have losing weeks sometimes and even losing months. And this is why it is so important that you have a short memory in this game. Yesterday, you had a really bad day at the poker tables. You lost a ton of money. Cool, that's yesterday. Today is a new day, new results, blank slate. Guys, you need to understand that your day-to-day -day results, your week-to-week -week results do not matter in this game. You need to have a short memory. Don't get too high when you have a good day. Don't get too low 
when you have a bad day, just play for the long run. Ignore your day-to-day -day results if at all possible because honestly, they don't really mean that much. All right, so tip number five is to react better to adversity. Now, it doesn't matter how strong mentally you are. We are all human at the end of the day. And when you get on a large losing streak in this game, it is going to affect you emotionally no matter what you do. But something that I realized very early on in my poker career is that that small group of elite big winners seem to react better to adversity than everybody else. And this is one of the biggest reasons why they are big winners. I also realized that this is something that is completely in my control. I don't have to fly off the handle and go on tilt. Or if I'm feeling really emotional, really frustrated with a bad run of cards, I can simply get up and leave the poker table for that day and not sit in there throwing away money like a lot of poker players do. So guys, you need to challenge yourself to react better to adversity than the other people at your poker table because this is one of the biggest things that separates, again, that handful of big winners from everybody else is how they react to adversity at the poker table. All right, so tip number six is to never be outworked. The other thing that I realized early on my career that I actually have control over is my work ethic. Now this is both at the poker tables and away from them. I don't control the results of individual hands. I don't control what people are saying at the poker table and all that. But what I do control is how I react to adversity and the effort that I put into this game. You know, some of the best compliments that I got early on in my poker career were, this is the guy who's always at my poker table. Does this guy even sleep? Because something that I vowed very early on in my poker career was you might be more talented than me, you might even be luckier than me, but you will never ever outwork me. This is something that is always in my control. And once again, I'm talking about not just the long hours at the poker table, but I'm also talking about the thousands of hours that I've spent away from the poker table in my poker tracker HUD. There'll be a link to that in the description below. Studying my hands, finding my leaks and fixing them. And also studying the other good players in my games to learn more about what they might be doing better than me or to develop new strategies to beat them. So guys, basically understanding that the effort that I put into this game is totally in my control. And again, somebody might be more talented than me. Somebody might be luckier than me, but they will never outwork me at the poker table. That is always in my control and that is always in your control as well. All right, so my final poker lesson is to always remember your why. Guys, like I said, you are going to go through countless ups and downs in this game, the highest highs and the lowest lows. And it is during these times that you absolutely need to remember why you started playing this game in the first place. It was probably for the thrill, the excitement, the chance of the big score, the fact that this is a game. This is a game that we all love to play, that we have a deep passion for. That's why you're watching this video right now. Thank you for sticking around this long, by the way. And make sure you like and subscribe if you're finding this helpful. But guys, bottom line, you're gonna have to always remember your why in this game and fall back on your deep love and passion for this game. Because like I said, this game is gonna throw you through the ringer sometimes. And so one of the biggest keys to your long-term success in this game is just always remembering why you started playing this game in the first place and even when it seems like you're never going to win another poker hand again, just get in there for the love of the game. Get in there because you want to play. So anyways, I hope that a few of the tips on this list helped you guys out. Make sure you let me know in the comments below what lessons you've learned in your poker career, what sort of tips or advice have helped you the most. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And like I mentioned before, if you want to see more poker videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also shove all in on that like button below if you found this one helpful. Lastly, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet that is called Massive Profit of the Micros. That'll be the top link in the description below. That'll give you guys my complete strategy on how to beat small and mid stakes poker games. And finally, I will leave another video right here that I made recently that I think will help you guys out some more. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope this one was helpful. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.